All right, guys, so uh, day one of my 12-week prep. Got all my goals rewritten down so they're fresh. So now I'm going to go ahead and go get that fasted cardio. All right, let's go get it. All right, time to those vitamins, everything in. First meal. First, I got to unpack all these meals I got for the week. From my friend Evelyn. So we got some ground beef, broccoli. I pretty much eat straight protein and throw some fats in there. Then, you know, spread it cheap meals because I feel like I need them. You know, a bunch of fish and red meat. Thirties in the fridge now. That immune system fortified, you know. Thistles. 
one probiotic restore. Then we got some niacin. off this dragon muscle leg. about uh, add a scoop of this way we're good to go
Hey, what's up guys? Let's talk chess. How do you grow it? What's up guys? Let's talk chess. What's up guys? Let's talk chess. What's up guys? Let's talk chess. Go. All right, guys. Let's talk uh, protein. You see a lot of people out there in the fitness community bashing high protein diets, and uh, you know, really, I believe most of the reason behind that is protein's not fun to eat. Uh, it kind of sits in your stomach, takes a little bit to break down, and it, you know, honestly, it just doesn't taste that great. But here's why you need a lot of protein in your diet, especially if you're cutting down. It promotes a high nitrogen balance, which means you have more fullness. That's important if you're low carb, because it means your muscles stay more anabolic, and basically, you know, your body doesn't eat its own tissue. You want to preserve as much tissue as possible when you're dieting. That way you keep burning fat. Okay, so protein in and of itself doesn't do anything magical to burn fat. But what it does do is it helps prevent muscle loss while you're low calorie, low carb, doing a bunch of cardio, etc. Guys, so eat that meat. All right.